Thanks, Deputy Speaker. I wish to raise a matter for the attention of the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure. The action I seek is for the Minister to provide a full detail in a briefing to me what will happen with the $168 million committed by the Federal Government to the McCoy Street Hume Freeway interchange. Last week, the Minister confirmed this project is roadkill. What a shock. Of course, the Minister blamed the Feds. That's the previous Federal Government, of course, so you can, you can work that out, but we'll go on. She says $210 million, including the $168 million from the Commonwealth and $42 million from the Victorian State Government is not enough. And yet, two and a bit years ago, it was. Minister Allen's uh, correspondence in December 2020 said the extra $104 million from the then Coalition Government was a result of a preliminary level assessment of the proposal by Major Road Projects Victoria. The department had done the maths, come up with a figure, and I'm guessing hoped the feds would end up and reject and say no about the additional funding. Well, I'm certainly for one, and so is the community, the Benambra district, uh, sick of uh, the spin. Now, it's a Labor government in the lodge. You know, your, your lot, your mob's in the lodge. Don't, don't shoot at home to, that everything is from the, fed, the previous federal government. Yeah, I'll enjoy it while you can and don't bugger it up. So don't, don't shoot at home that the previous federal government, it's not their fault. You have the money. You have a $10 million a day a daily interest bill. Uh, you clearly have no money for regional Victoria. As a rural representative, I can see that you have no money for roads anywhere in regional Victoria. This project is, or should I say was, important to our community. In 2015, you created an 80 kilometre stretch on the Hume Freeway at this intersection because it was too dangerous. An 80 kilometre zone on the main high freeway between Sydney and Melbourne that sees 30,000 plus vehicles a day, about 7,500 heavy vehicles. Then in 2018 came the plans to build a roundabout. It was a roundabout in name and nature. For a time, I called it a Mickey Mouse solution. That's an insult to Disney, of course, it's a dog breakfast, it's a technicolour yawn on good road design. Trucks have to cross two lanes of traffic in 80 metres from a standing start if they want to get to the industrial area near McCoy Street. This is an intersection that also sees people going to work, parents taking kids to school. It's, it's a significant intersection. In fact, it's a death trap. But rather than confront the problem, you point the finger. You politicise road safety rather than act responsibly. I have no doubt you'll take this money and prop up one of these projects in Melbourne that are already massively over budget.